he's a guy that's got the size that can play both inside and outside. Uh, you know, he's spent the majority of his time as a guy that will line up at the uh, defensive end position. But we've got to have guys, again, when we start our rotation and our package, that can play both uh, inside and outside. So he's done a really nice job. We asked him to gain some weight. He put on about 10 pounds. And uh, he's uh, getting an opportunity to work both inside and outside right now. What do you like about him from what you've seen? He's one of the strongest guys on the team. Uh, he's a guy that contributed last year on special teams. Uh, that, you know, he can run. He was a guy that covered kicks for us. Uh, I think in the Tampa game was probably his best game last year. Coach uh, Deeper. How many scrimmage periods are you playing? Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah well, tomorrow's uh, rules of engagement, so to speak, will have a practice, and then we will have between five and seven series uh, where we will where we will work. We'll have some of the guys that will not participate uh, in it, but it will be uh, tackling. We will have some tackling uh, in the scrimmage, uh, and it will it will last probably somewhere between 30 and 45 plays of actual live work. We will go through a normal practice prior to that, get some work done, pretty much the same tempo that we are working here. We will not have cut blocking uh, in the in the uh, scrimmage, nor will we have cut tackling. Uh, those will be the rules, and if we have a free shot on a guy, we're not going to see anybody taking free shots. Uh, to make sure that we're healthy, but it's going to be as close as we can simulate to uh, you know to playing football before the first preseason game. Coach, what was your impression of defense today? Had a couple of interceptions, even a big boy interception with Perry. You know, yeah, I thought it was. I thought that the defense did a nice job today. We did some situations that were advantageous towards them uh, in the in the in the two minute drill that we had, and I thought uh, thought they did a really nice job. Uh, you know, it's going to be back and forth every you know every day. One day it's going to be or one period is offense, the next period is defense, and they're just out competing and trying to get better. Hey, Coach, uh, what type of job can Asante do in helping the young quarterbacks with all of his uh, vast uh, knowledge and experience in the game? Oh, he can help them a lot in terms of, uh, of getting pre-snap keys and reads. I think that's one of the strengths that uh, Asante has. That's why he's been so productive uh, in terms of creating turnovers and having inters and having interceptions that he's had uh, in his career. Uh, he can, you know, he can give those guys some of that knowledge on what they need to look for uh, pre-snap read and after the ball's being snapped. Of course, just a thoughts on the change of venue tomorrow, being out in the community and doing it away from Flowery Branch. Oh, I think it'll be great. Every time we've uh, had this event, the, uh, the players uh, really enjoy it. It's good for the fans. It's a very uh, great setting. Uh, with uh, being in a, in a smaller, you know, a smaller venue, small stands, fans right up on top of you, uh, it lets our players uh, get back to their roots. And uh, I think you'll see a very spirited at uh, late afternoon and early evening tomorrow when we get out there and work.